Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, The Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can also see a video version of this if you go to YouTube on their channel, Take Your Life Back Today show. Amazingly, it's that time, <clears throat> a new year is approaching right on schedule again. This is the time of the year. Many of us start making resolutions to change certain areas, multiple areas in our lives. Maybe we have some extra uh, pounds to shed. We might be committed to changing a specific harmful behavior. New Year's resolutions range from simple desires to seemingly foolproof plans for existence uh, and for extensive life changes. What we all have in common is the hope that something will change and life will be different and better in the year ahead. Every year, people ring in the New Year's with goals to live life differently on some sort of level. However, a short few weeks later, many of these very same well, well wishes end up discouraged and filled with shame and remorse over their failed attempts to make their resolutions come uh, to pass. Who knows, this may be the second, third, fourth, or fifteenth year someone has tried to kick the habit after so many misguided attempts. Why would they even want to try again? Well, that's a good question. First, consider a few additional questions. And, and listen up about this, because this, this really is good. What if every spring the flowers just gave up on blooming? Can you imagine that? What if the local birds that have migrated to some far away place just decided to stay put in a tropical island somewhere and not come here to wherever you are? What if the sun chose to hide behind the clouds all summer long? Can you imagine that? Worse yet, what if Christ had not come to earth as a baby or hadn't risen from the dead? That would be unbelievable. I don't know about you, my friends, but I sure love frag fragrant flowers, sweet singing birds are pretty nice, and oh, how I love the summer sun. I love the summer sun smiling down on me, but the thought of Christ not defeating death is downright terrifying. Without his resurrection power, we really would have no hope for a permanent life change, ever. So... Here are some ways to help you on new, your new New Year's. Five ways to start the new year with the Almighty God. As we begin a, new, uh, begin a new year, how can we better grow in our relationship with Christ? Scripture offers five ways to help you succeed at doing that. We need to have plenty of prayer. James 5.16 teaches the pay, a prayer of righteous p a person is powerful and effective. As believers, we recognize the power of prayer, yet often only turn to prayer when everything else fails. Instead, we are called to pray constantly, uh, 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 Theologians 5.17, looking to God first, not last. Our power and effectiveness are found in his strength, not our own. We can also turn to scripture. In Matthew 4.4, 4, Jesus quoted the Old Testament promise, man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Jesus had just gone without food for 40 days. He knew what it meant to need food. Yet, even in his weakened physical condition, Jesus recognized God's word was more important than the food we eat. Without God's truth, we do not know how to make choices that please God or how to overcome temptation. To start the new year with God, a fresh commitment to reading, listening to, or studying God's Word is vital to you starting this new year. We can also be involved in our community. Scripture is clear that believers in Jesus are to encourage one another in Hebrews 10.25. This happens best in the person face-to-face. -face. In our hyper-connected society, a positive goal could be to commit more time in person with other believers. How could this look? Some options include a renewed commitment to regular church, uh, church service attendance, my friends. Joining a small group of Bible study. Meeting with one uh, other person each week to help one another grow spiritually. Praying regularly with a friend at work or school. Many uh, opportunities exist, but you must take the initiative to connect 
Community happens when we commit to it. What about service? In 1 John 3, 17, 18, we learn if anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be that person in that person? Dear children, let us not love with words or speech but with actions and in truth. One of our most powerful methods of uh, spiritual growth is to show God's love to each other, whether through your local church or uh, another uh, community organization, or even like I do through my show and my radio. Many ways to exist to impact other in practical everyday ways is uh, advisable by me. Some ideas include volunteering at the Senior Citizen Center, serving meals at a local soup kitchen, gathering supplies for a, a mission trip, donating items to a local thrift store that serves the community daily, assisting with local jail or prison ministry, which is what I do, helping at an after-school program in your area, writing to your church missionaries with uh, encouragement and prayer support daily. Friends, sharing Christ. Many people do not realize that one of the most powerful ways to grow spiritually is to help someone else come to faith in Jesus. This is true in several ways. First, sharing our faith with another person reminds us of how God has changed our lives, our lives daily. Think about that. Second, sharing our faith forces us out of our comfort zone. We are required to learn new ways to communicate and to depend on God's Spirit to lead our efforts. Friends, the third thing is sharing our faith allows us to see God at work through our life into the lives of others. That is an important one, the third one. There is an old saying that if you keep doing what you've uh, uh, always done, you will keep uh, getting the results you've always had. Don't you want new results this New Year's? If you want to grow spiritually this year, commit to change in these five areas that I just spoke about. God will work in and through you to change your life and the lives of other people around you. That is so important. We need to share our love for Christ. Call me at 844-405-HELP. We can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves. Always be good to each other. And remember, a simple smile to a stranger can change that stranger's day and their life and your life. For God so loved the world that he gave us his only son. How many parents and grandparents are out there that would sacrifice their son just because just to help other people that you don't even know. Well, God did that with his son. May God bless each and every one of you. We will talk to you guys tomorrow. Until then, may God bless you.